Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by because it's Friday and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. I'm really excited about this one and I, I know you are too because you read that title up there. I suffer from multiple chemical sensitivity. I, I'm, I can't handle fragrances, perfumes, any, dryer sheets, fabric softeners. They all make me deathly ill. And that means I can't use a public laundromat because that residue stays in the equipment. So I travel with my own laundry facility and for years I've been dragging around this apartment sized dryer. So when Morris reached out to me and asked if I was interested in checking out their portable dryer, I said, yeah, I, 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 that, that is of interest to me. So we're gonna, we're gonna dive deep into this big box right here. Supposed to be some cool tech. I've been I've been doing a little reading on it. I got to do a little more, but before I get to that, I need to open the box up and find the documentation. So let's open this big old box. camera angle was wrong. <laughs> Countertop dryer. I kind of messed it all up. will fit it should fit in the wardrobe of the motor home let's do some measurements on this so we're yeah, 20 inches tall 16 inches wide so we're 20 inches this way 16 this way and 20 inches this way. That will actually fit in one of my outside storage bays. Huh, even better. It is 110 power. So this is not something you're, well, you could run up with your generator. You could power it. water reservoir so I have two shirts in the washing machine and as soon as they're done we'll we'll dry some shirts this little bad boy is really cool or really warm check this out you've got eight different modes do the smart quick shirt silk warm refresh shoe and sanitize and the sanitize uses uv lights 
uh, and some vacuum technology. But the sanitize really intrigues me. Because I've, I've, I've recently fallen in love with my, my wool long underwear. I never owned wool long underwear until I, bought, I got these. But sometimes when you're on the go and you can't wash, you just want to sanitize, get things clean. This is the sanitize mode. Well, you know, it's a dryer, so it's gonna make a little noise. We need to dry something wet. Now, I have watched a couple of videos on this where people were trying to dry too much. So I'm gonna do some, do a little bit of, a little load of laundry. We're gonna do a couple, get a couple shirts clean. And we'll, a couple of my Hawaiian shirts. And we'll, we'll check it out. The lint filter is held in place with magnets. So there's a very specific position that they have to be in for those magnets to catch. But once it's in place, yep, it does not come out. There's actually a second filter in here as well. Do you want to make sure you have that one? Because this is the only one that comes out. That's neat. If you have funky shoes, you can just put them in there and air them out. Two clean Hawaiian shirts. Now we need to put it in. We can do quick. So with two shirts, we're going to do the quick. Telling us it's gonna take 14 minutes. I'll be back in 14 minutes. It actually, it smells like a dryer in here. Oh, yeah, that's, ah, heck yeah. The shirts are a little wrinkled, but these shirts are always wrinkled. It's dry. That's pretty cool. Now I'm wondering. There's, there's not any moisture in that. <laughs> yeah, I'm smiling. Uh, I'm a happy guy. It actually took less time with this than the apartment size dryer that I had been lugging, I have been lugging around. That's awesome. Fantastic.
I'm quite impressed with the Morris dryer. Now, you're not going to throw a couple pairs of blue jeans in there and expect those to get dry in a reasonable timeline. Now, one pair is going to dry faster than, than two pair. And so ideally, the pro probably the way we will end up using this, it, it will pretty much hold as much as the little washing machine will hold when it comes to shirts, underwear, t-shirts, socks. So we should be able to dry faster than the one that we currently have. Uh, but most likely we will get ahead on the washing machine and have to start the line dry process and then move as the dryer finishes drying and fluffing we move them from the line to the dryer when, when we're on the go. I think this is a heck of a value. I really do. Because this is a very compact dryer for what it is. So, yeah. I'm very impressed. And I think that brings us to the end of this drying edition of Friday's Finals. I'd like to give a special thanks, a special shout out of thanks to Morris, Morris.com for giving us the opportunity to explore clothes drying for the RV. Now, as I will normally do, now this is not available on Amazon. You can only get it direct from Morris. So there'll be a link in the card above and in the description below if you're interested in exploring the world of compact dryers. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. This is Friday's Finance. We do this on a regular basis, just playing with products so that you know what you need. If you've already subscribed, thank you. I am most honored. That's why I get to do what I do. That's why I get to play with cool stuff like this. It's because of y'all. Thank you for that opportunity. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful. You guys rock. Oh, hey, did you see the new hat? That's the, that's the Dillo Days logo. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?